we have an internal dialogue that is always happening outside of our conscious awareness. Practicing this technique can change the things that you think can't be changed. Things that you may think just are the way that they are because your unconscious inner dialogue tells you that it's so, and you're probably not even conscious of how your core beliefs and your thinking and your inner dialogue are causing all these things to happen. Your unconscious mind tells you what to believe, and your core beliefs control your destiny. You can't do this. Uh, I can't do me, this. What? I don't what was that? Here. Um, could you Something guys check to see if your this is mind not right. is on? I uh, can't does anybody do have this. Uh, you feel right. Could you tell you me if the audio is working no no properly? I'm what tired. is it? I'm not uh, worthy. Ever since I'm not good enough. Could you tell me if the audio is working right? Nothing ever works out right. Did you guys hear that? The world is gonna end. Who, We're all gonna die. Uh, check to see if the audio is working right. What the fuck are you looking at, punk? You is not gonna work. Mike is on. Why don't you leave me alone? What is that? I'm tired of this. Who said that? Just get away from me. Oh, no one that's loves me. The inner dialogue. Yes, there are voices, thoughts, pictures going on all the time inside of every person's head. Did you hear the story of the guy who went to the psychiatrist and he was explaining to the psychiatrist about he's hearing a voice inside of his head? And as he was explaining this, the psychiatrist was taking notes and inside of his head, he was thinking, this guy's hearing voices inside of his head. I wonder what will be the cause of that. He must be nuts. Yes, if you begin to notice Practicing mindfulness, the word mindfulness might become more and more important to you. Let's just say that, that would be about becoming aware of what's happening with you. If you become more aware of what's happening to you, you'll notice that there is some kind of chatter going on inside your head a lot of the time. And you'll notice that according to your behavior, your results that you always have in life, there is an inner dialogue that's actually causing it to happen. You'll notice that thoughts are arising all the time in your head. And what's really interesting is that a lot of it is just not within our conscious awareness. And yet we're listening to the voice inside our heads and it's directing us and telling us how to feel, how to act, how to behave. And it, it's telling us what our results are going to be in anything that we choose to do. We may decide to start a business, but inside of our heads, we're thinking, well, this is not going to work out. Oh, you probably can't do that. This is not going to work out. And these things are going on all the time. And it's actually causing the results that we get in our lives. And did you know that you could change the inner dialogue, the self-talk that you have naturally inside your head, you can become aware of it and change it and then get different results. And the amazing thing is that when you develop the skill to shift this internal dialogue, to become the wise part of yourself, your own inner coach or your inner advisor, maybe you have a part of yourself as we all do, who is capable of guiding us to exactly the right thing to do. When you allow this internal dialogue to shift to what you now consciously want, guided by your own sense of vision and knowledge and purpose, your entire life can transform because of that. Because this really is your programming when you deliberately and consciously take charge of that programming, you can dramatically affect your ability to have success at anything that you set out to in life. Don't make a fool out of yourself by taking hip hop dance lessons. You tried the same thing before. This is not going to work. Just stick to your station in life. If your parents weren't rich, how are you going to be rich? Besides, you know, rich people are bad, on and on and on. So many things that we're telling ourselves inside. Here's an amazing thing to consider. Every person who's not getting the results that they want, 
they're not successful enough, they're not making enough money, if they're not winning at trading, if they're not becoming a good actor and they're trying to be an actor, if people that they want to like them aren't liking them. They want to have a relationship and the person that they want to have a relationship with isn't responding to them. If they're not eating the right things and if they're not physically fit enough or they're overweight and they would like to lose weight, if they would like to excel in education or in public speaking or if they want to be really good at something and they're not getting the result that they want, it's because they have an inner dialogue that's creating that result. And you can change that inner dialogue to be the dialogue that causes you to get the result that you do want. So when you become aware that there's a voice or an inner dialogue that's telling you something and it's not what you want, the first thing is don't fight it. The first step at doing this is to learn to become aware of it so that you're just watching it happen. And as you just passively observe what's happening, this is the concept that we call in NLP dissociation. If you're dissociated and then you see yourself from a distance and you see what's that person thinking? What's going on inside of that person? Did you know, I just discovered that in order for a person to become depressed or discouraged, they have to initiate an inner dialogue and then form the associated pictures that cause them to become depressed. So that if a person becomes depressed, they have a routine that they're unconsciously doing, but they're choosing to do it. And... They go through this process where they think how bad things are, and then they think about the pictures of it, and then they think really hard about how bad it is, and then they start to feel really bad about it, and then they make it worse and worse, and that's all happening because of what the person is doing inside of themselves. You become angry, you become frustrated. There is a thing that you're doing inside of yourself, and there's a talk that's going on that's causing it, to happen. You can blame someone else for it. That person may be mad, but other people don't make you depressed. You are doing it. Okay, the important thing to master, how can you change yourself? How can you change your life? If you become aware of some kind of inner self-talk, as we all have, the important thing is to not fight it, but to just become aware of it, because that's the first step. Most people go through their whole life and they're having this inner dialogue, but they're not consciously aware of it. And there are ways that we're going to enhance our ability to become more aware. As we have discovered and is known in the, in the field of CBT and other psychological fields that it is not really possible for a person to become depressed without generating a certain inner dialogue and then generating the associated pictures such as, oh, things are so bad. It's just so bad. It's just so And then you, you continually try to make yourself depressed. Even if you feel like you're not trying, it is a deliberate thing. It is a controllable thing that you can stop. If a person is experiencing anxiety, there's something going on inside of that person that's saying, watch out, something bad might happen. You never know about that. Well, there's all these bad things in the world. You know, it's just constantly going on inside of yourself. And so we want to become aware of that so that then we can take deliberate control, take conscious control to change that into something that would be more productive something that would help you to get better results in life because obviously what's happening is not getting us the results that we want. So the co-founder of NLP, Richard Bandler, gave us a lot of personal genius into how can you take control of the inner voice that's happening inside of yourself. And one of the things that he says is that to become aware of that voice and then when you are aware of it, notice what 
tone quality it has. Is it the sound of a man, if you're a man? Or is it the sound of, of a woman? Because it could be the sound of your mother or father or a teacher that you had. Every time a certain thing happens, you might kind of hear this voice and it might just be echoing something that happened before. So notice what does the voice sound like? And notice the rhythm of it too. Is it kind of a... Well, what kind of a, of a tone quality does it have? What kind of a rhythm does it have? Watch out for that thing. It, it, with the anxiety, the fear voice, and you're never going to be able to do that. What, what does that voice sound like? The discouraging voice or the voice that inhibits you from doing what you want. Don't bother doing that. You're not going to be able to do that. So creating a new habit of becoming aware of your inner dialogue and self-talk puts you into a different category of person. There may be 99% of people who aren't aware of what's going on inside of themselves. It's there, they may hear it, but they're just not consciously aware of it, and they're not doing anything deliberately to change it. So this is going to put you into a different category of people, and you're going to be completely different than the people who aren't aware of their inner self-talk. And you're also going to have the total power and control to deliberately change what's going on inside of yourself. And just think, if your program, and a lot of the programming is just accidental and by default, or you may be picking up a lot of deliberate programs from advertisement movies, and, and the whole world is, is sending things out to you. But if you're taking control of your programs, then you are in the category of people who can create deliberate success. Be creative in your script. Just make up whatever you want and make it great. Imagine that your life could become an adventure or a mystery. Or imagine that your life is a story of the hero's journey. What would this story be? Could you create a new amazing story of success empowerment, joy, and what else? As an example, and it came to pass at that time that Scott Schubert did arise in glory and power with highest potential, aligned with highest wisdom, so that peak performance and highest results are always achieved. Hi, I'm Scott Schubert, and welcome to another exciting day of my life. As I arise in the morning with passion for life, I notice that the entire universe is creating synchronicity to bring about my highest intentions and desires. I now know I am fulfilling my highest purpose and it feels excellent. I easily attract more and more abundance and income in the form of money, financial success, profit, as well as fulfilling experiences, friends, harmonious relationships, acceptance and recognition for my value as a person. I acknowledge the value of all life and every person and this acknowledgement is sensed and perceived by others as resonance and natural attraction. And when you learn to do self-hypnosis, then it's going to be the key to all mastery in life because it greatly enhances your ability to become powerful and to create the results that you want.